What do you do when one unexpected event completely changes the course of your life? How do you deal with that unexpected reality? When one reality, one unexpected thing happens to you that you did not see coming, that you did not see coming, one event only, it changes the whole course of your life. You may be, maybe you thought that you had everything under control and then suddenly something unexpected happens to you. How do you deal with that? So that's what we're going to cover in this episode on how to deal with unexpected reality. I have two important uh, mindset of tip or tips that I want to share with you today. So join me in this episode. So welcome everyone to the Faith Race Podcast. My name is Franck Kambembo, and today we are talking about how to deal with unexpected realities. You know, this life that we are living, life is filled with achievement, moments of joy, moments, you know, of big achievements. Let's say you plan to go to university, you do your two or three years of university, and then you graduate, you have a degree, and as you plan, things turn out the exact way that you planned for. Or let's say maybe you have a plan, you get married and after two years of marriage, you get a child, you have a child and it happens exactly as you planned for. Life is like this sometimes. You have, you plan for something, you achieve it. You plan for something, you achieve it. But at the same time, life is filled with so many twists and turns. Life is filled with so many unexpected realities, things that you did not see coming. They happen in real life, in real life, maybe in different form. A job loss, you never planned for it, and then, boom, your boss texted you or someone texted you that you are fired or we can't continue with you. Maybe it's your health. Everything was going fine. And then suddenly, you find out that you're sick. What? What happened? What happened? You find out just that I'm sick. I'm sick. What happened? Or maybe a heartbreak. Everything was fine in the relationship. And then you receive a message. It's over between us. Or I want a divorce. How do you deal with such events? Because they do happen in real life. They do happen in real life. Whether you are a Christian or not, it happens in real life. But how do you deal with that, those events? And Before even giving you the two ways that I have prepared for us today, you can even find these realities in the Bible. Let's take Job, for example. When you look at the life of Job, one moment, everything was going fine. The Bible says he was a successful person. You know, everything was going fine. Beautiful wife, beautiful kids. And then suddenly, something unexpected happens. He begins to lose everything around him. His businesses, everything. Someone comes and tell, tell him, all your businesses are, are lost. That was a shock already, like unexpected. How can I lose my businesses like this, my money and my wealth like this? And then at that same moment, another person comes and says, all your kids are dead. Are dead. This happened to Job. It was, so, it was, it was really worse that at a point where his own wife came to him and said, just curse God and die his own wife, to see how terrible this was. His own wife came and said, just curse God and die. This is, this is too much for you. This is too much for, not only for you, but for a human being to, to bear such a weight. Job went through that. It was a difficult thing. And sometimes life is like this, filled with unexpected realities. One moment you thought that everything was under control, and the next moment, you lose everything. You lose everything you thought you were controlling. There are moments that you don't have mastery over. And this is the reality of life. Another person is Joseph. When you look at the life of Joseph in the Bible, Joseph had the promises of God. He was a young child. He, 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 he dreamed that, wow, he's going to be a big person. His brothers, his father, his mom were bowing to him. So he had a great destiny. But along the road, something unexpected happened. Betrayal. 
he never thought that something could something like that could happen to him he is betrayed by his brother sold into slavery and to get everything worse again like things got worse he is sold into slavery and in the house of his master because he was a good looking boy the wife of his master lies for him that no this guy wanted to sleep with me and i refused and he ran away and he's thrown into prison someone with the promises of god he is thrown into prison joseph did not see that coming he did not see that coming but job and joseph remained confident in the presence of god how do you keep on trusting god when something unexpected like this happened to you look at job for example he lost everything his businesses his health was deteriorating his kids are all dead were all dead so how do you deal with those things because we do face you know things like this there are moments in our lives that happen to us that shake even the foundation of our belief in god it threatens your faith even your security in christ you're like oh my goodness i never saw this coming god where were you god why did didn't you do something for this why did this happen to me why things like this happen and this is the reality of life you can't get over it you can't turn around it it will happen it will happen to all of us to me as well but then how do you deal with that and today i've prepared two important uh things for us to understand before even talking about it let me just give you two scriptures the first one is in romans chapter 8 verse 28 the bible says that all things work together for our good we need to understand that as believers god is in control that no matter what is happening to us god is in control and then another another scripture the bible says trust in the lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding but in all your ways acknowledge him proverbs chapter 3 you those are two scriptures that you need to have when something unexpected happens and all things work together for your good and you need to trust in the lord but now let me give you a uh, two practical mindset that you must have that you must have to deal with unexpected reality the first mindset is that nothing surprises god nothing surprises god you know you can plan something you can think that you have everything under control and then something unexpected happens to you boom everything you lose everything or something that you did not see coming comes your way but one mindset and mentality you must possess when you are in front of a non-predictable or unexpected reality is that nothing surprises god it may surprise you and it will surprise you but nothing surprises god brothers and sisters nothing surprise god is not surprised by our unexpected realities and it can be difficult for us to deal with those realities and i i get it for us it's very difficult to deal with that but we need to adopt this mindset that nothing in this world surprises god in revelation chapter 1 verse 8 the bible says god he said he is the beginning and the end the alpha and the omega the alpha and the omega meaning he knows the beginning and he knows the end of everything so the thing that happens to you god is not caught off guard god is not surprised by it god knew that it was going to happen to you he knew already so he's not surprised so if you are a believer and you're walking with god and on the road along the road something unexpected happens to you first adopt the mindset that yes this is surprising to me I, i did not see this coming but god you are not caught off god and nothing surprises you you see one thing that you need to understand is that god doesn't see time as we do we do we we see one moment after another the past the present the future but for god the past the present and the future are all seen in at once all at once he knows everything and i love what pastor chris said one day in his book the power of your mind he said your future 
is history to God. So whatever is happening to you, God already knew about all those things. Whatever is happening to you, God knew about that as already. So nothing surprises God. God is not caught off God by the realities that happen to you, by the things that happen to you. God is not caught off God. He's never and he will never be caught off God. So this is a reality and a mindset that you need to cultivate and you need to have. When something unexpected happens to you, realize, tell yourself, repeat it to yourself that God, you are not surprised by what is happening to me. And there's a quote that uh, the Holy Spirit uh, revealed to me and I, I love, this is very beautiful. When I was preparing this, he said to me, God has a plan for the things that you did not plan for. And I want to repeat this. God has a plan for the things that you did not plan for. Things that are, There are things that happen in your life that you did not plan for it. But God has a plan for those things. Take, for example, someone who has an unexpected baby. You did not plan to have that baby. But God can still have a plan. God, in fact, God already has a plan for that baby. Maybe you are into this marriage. You did not plan to not have a kid. You go into marriage to have a kid to, to, to form a family. But still now you don't have a kid. God has a plan for those things that you did not plan for. Before we face a problem, God already had a solution. Let me tell you this. Let me explain this to you. When you face a problem, God doesn't go out and now he's looking for the solution. No, 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 no. When you face a problem, God already had the solution before the problem even shows up. So this is a reality and a mindset that you need to cultivate, that God has a plan, even for the things that I did not plan for. He's not surprised by what is happening to me. And he already had the solution before the problem even shows up. And then the second point or mentality I want you to have when you face unexpected realities is that God can equip you for it. Because most of the time you feel equipped for the things that you are planning for. But when something unexpected happens, you feel unequipped or unable to face those realities. But what I want to tell you is that God can equip you even for the unexpected realities in your life. The things that you did not plan for that are coming your way. God can equip you to face those realities. God can provide you with the necessary tools to face the realities that are unexpectedly happening to you. He can equip you. He's the supreme equipper. He's the one who equips you. Just imagine if a human government can send soldiers into the battlefield with the right weaponry to fight the battle. What about God? He is more responsible and more equipped than any government in the world. So if any government can supply the, its army with the right weaponry, God can do far more than that. So if you are facing something that has been difficult for you, killing you, let me tell you something. It won't kill you, by the way, but let me tell you something. God can equip you for that. And you see, the divine equipment that God gives to us, it's not just to help us survive. No, 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 no. It's actually to help us thrive and move forward in life. God equips you to thrive in life, not only to survive, not to barely survive and say, oh, I'm surviving. No, God equips you to live life. And you need to understand something is that God did not call us to be warriors, people who worry all the, all the time. No, God called us to be warriors, people who fight all the time. And because God is on our side, there is no mountain that we cannot move. There is nothing that will be impossible because with God, we can do many, many things. So in conclusion, I want you to understand these two things, that dealing with un uh, unexpected realities, it's tough, it's difficult. Yes, I get it. But you need to have these two mindsets. That it's happening to you, yes, but nothing surprises God. In fact, nothing happens to God. Things happen to us, but nothing happens to God. Since God is with you, 
since God saw that coming and he is with you, meaning he is with you in that storm. He is with you in that battle and he's going to equip you to face those realities. So have these two mindsets. Walk with these two mindsets and you will see the success of God following you in every place that you go and in everything that you do. I really pray that this mentality may be you know, sealed in our mind and in our spirit, even mine, that whatever unexpected realities that we may be facing in life, that God may give us the strength, the grace to know that nothing surprises him that, and that he can equip us to face those realities. I really pray that with all my heart for you and for me as well. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode. Please share this message to someone who is going through something unexpected or just your friend, just to prepare them, you know, share this and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like so that YouTube can you know, promote this channel, uh, this episode to many people. And uh, for those who are listening on a podcast, don't forget to like as well or to leave your review and to comment. And uh, I'm going to see you for the next episode again. Thank you so much for joining me. May God bless you. May God smile on you and may his favor follow you in everything that you are doing. I love you guys and God bless you. Bye-bye.